And they're just showing a 4.9% appreciation rate. Okay. And here in Nashville, what would you say we're seeing? 10? Mm-hmm. Okay. 10. So we're using less than half. So 4.9 appreciation. And let's say today's rates are 4%. Freddie Mac is projecting in 2018, rates will be somewhere around 4.8. So you take a $250,000 house today at 4%, the principal and interest before taxes and insurance would be $1,196, $1,196. Okay. Next year, 4.8, the house itself just went from $250,000 to $262,250 through the 4.9 appreciation rate. Okay. And now your payment at the higher rate is at $1,375. So you've got an increase of $179 a month just by waiting. Not only did your house price go up, your interest rate went up. Now you have an annual increase of $2,154 and over 30 years, $64,000. And so, the rates are crazy low right now, correct? Like historically low. Yeah, rates rates are historically low. They're not they're not at the historically low point where they, you know, the bottom, if you will. Right. But yet, I mean, they're so close to where that bottom was. They're still fantastic yes. in the grand scheme of things. But yes. they've been that way for quite a while. Yes. And you, that's at, at some point, that's going to change. Yes. Well, the Federal Reserve basically meets every um, six weeks, typically about eight times a year. And our belief is towards the end of the year, they are going to start selling some of the mortgage bonds that they have purchased. And what that's going to do on Wall Street is it's going to take a big buyer that the government has been, because the government's been buying bonds. So they've been buying all these bonds out on the Wall Street, and it's been stabilizing the supply and demand, simple supply and demand. Now, all of a sudden, you take a big buyer and you make them a seller, you disrupt that supply and demand. Now you've got to let the fair market work. So we anticipate at the end of the year, once you start to see that buyer pull out of the out of the market, we'll probably see rates start to tip up because you're going to have an abundance of mortgage bonds pushed down the market, and we're going to have to see do other foreign investors step in to buy them, and you know how does that work? How does that play out? Can you bring that punk and music to you?